When a new story falls through the cracks, Lewis Black catches it in a segment we call Back in Black. Thanks, Trevor. I, uh, I really like what you've done with the set. Oh, thanks, Lewis Lear. You really like it? Uh, no, I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Millennials, there are 80 million of them, 19 to 34 years old, swarming the U.S. of A and leaving nothing but selfie sticks and gluten-free pizza crusts in their wake. <laughs> and, and the worst part is, we're falling all over ourselves just to get their attention. Even me! <laughs> right now, I'm on Snapchat. That's right, Snapchat. This is what I've sunk to. <laughs> Go ahead, swipe up and draw your dicks on my face, you jackals! <laughs> and corporations have caught the bug. They're not even interested in my money anymore. They want the cold, hard, wrinkle-free cash of millennials. McDonald's, the fast food chain, in, in Canada, mm -hmm. they're rolling out self-serve kiosks. They say millennials will love using kiosks. Millennials are such that everything with them is electronic. Most millennials would rather deal with a computer, iPad, iPhone, than actually have interaction with another human being. Oh, I've been there, millennials. I can't get in and out of my local Mickey D's without me and my cashier having a lengthy heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> Stacy, you're always so tough on yourself because your mother rode you too hard. That's why you struggle with your self-esteem. And don't forget the <laughs> napkins! <laughs> but if millennials don't want to talk to us, I guess it's our loss because Look how charming they are. It's a lot easier, quicker. I can, like, order just whatever I want by the touch of a button. But if I ordered on my phone, it'd be even more convenient. Kid, how little work do you want to do? Does the cashier have to baby bird your McRib right into your mouth? But it's one thing for millennials to screw up America's hallowed fast food joints. Now they're doing it to my place of worship. Younger gamblers, they don't want to sit here and pull one of these levers. So the future of gambling could look a lot less like this and a lot more like an arcade. We're going into a brand new world. What the hell are you talking about? It's not a brand new world, it's a casino. You can fiddle with that joystick all you want. There's no cheat code for getting back your kid's college fund. <laughs> so what does this kid-friendly casino have in store for us? Lucky Words is a popular one with some of the players where it's a word assembling game. We've got Dreadnought where you're basically trying to take out enemy spaceships. We have a game like Police Pooches. You fling your Police Pooches and try to kill zombie cats. So to get points, you fling one type of animal at another type of an animal. What an original concept. <laughs> Hope you're lawyered up, police pooches, because if those birds were angry before, now they're <laughs> pissed. <laughs> but if that's the way we're doing things, download my new game, Flute Ninja. It's a ninja who loves slicing flutes. Why? How the f should I know? Just fork over some cash. So, video games and touch screens, is that all it takes to appeal to millennials? Chuck E. Cheese, now selling beer and wine in select locations. <laughs> Executives say they want to try to cater to millennial moms who want to entertain and feed the kids at the same time, but not give up their own fun. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it into a drinking game. Take a shot every time a kid <laughs> in the ball pit. <laughs> you millennials disgust me. It seems like all you want to do is drink, gamble, and avoid any kind of human interaction. Wait a minute. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Holy crap. 
I'm a millennial. <laughs> Trev man. Trev man, this revelation is totes on fleek. Totes on fleek.